<laughs> Hi, this is Ariel from France. Bonjour. Today I will be making a dress with hair. I really like to make things with a weird twist. So hair is a fun idea, I think. This is actually the second and final part of making this costume. I made a video about the underlayer, which is actually a light cottagecore dress made in Organza. I will link the video somewhere if you want to check it out. So I have been saving the hair of my hairbrush for two years and keeping it in jars in hope to create something fun with it. And now is finally the time to use it. Actually, no. The hair is all tangled and turning this into this took me more than two hours <laughs> and it's not even nice <laughs> i barely can do anything neat when it's already attached on my head anyway so plus it's all greasy and dusty so i would have to wash it first and the color is meh so let's put that away but i will still do something fun with it one day then i turned to the internet to buy some synthetic hair i thought about buying long wigs that i could unpick to use the wefts but then i found those big bundles of hair they are called jumbo braids and you can find them in any color you want. The fibers are not attached to anything, so they are perfect for this project. I've got all this for about 40 euros. I was really inspired by some fashion pieces from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And then I saw this picture of Lady Gaga wearing something very similar to what I made. But I swear I saw this picture after making the dress. So maybe she copied me 12 years ago. This dress will have a corset covered in braids and uh, woven lattice sleeves and skirts so you can see the dress through the layers. Let's start brushing! Well, before adding the hair, we need a base structure layer. So let's make a corset. I used this flower fabric from an old project. This little cute thing here that I will maybe show you one day. I will have the wrong side on the outside as the stripes kind of match the color of the hair I chose. I drafted my pattern, made a mock-up, then I could cut the pieces in this fabric. It is stiff enough to use for a corset, and I cut all the pieces with 1cm seam allowance. It is 6 panels for each side, plus the breast cups, in 3 pieces. I started with the back piece, where the eyelet will be, then assembled all the vertical seams. I folded those seams on one side, then made a row of stitching to form a boning channel. Then I added a zigzag to stop the raw edge from fraying. Here you see the flower side is on the inside. Jumping to the breast cups, I assembled the three pieces to form the cup, and then I cut those in neoprene without the seam allowance. You can then attach them together with a zigzag stitch as to make a bra cup. Bra cups are kind of expensive and this technique is a lot cheaper. The cups are attached and then I could try the corset on. It doesn't have the boning inside yet but after a little adjustment, I was happy with the fit. I added a boning channel on the front as well by simply sewing a straight strip in the middle. And the bra cups are attached inside as well. This is not perfect, especially with my red lines showing because I got on the wrong side. But it's all on the inside, so it's fine. The corset will be worn over the pink dress that I made before. I used steel boning to fill the channels, measure and snap the boning to cut it. I used electrical tape to protect the edges of the bones and keep them from poking through the fabric. Then I slide them in the channel. I made eyelet holes with an O, this little point. This allows to make holes without cutting the thread of the fabric, and it makes for more secure eyelets. I put both sides of the eyelets and press with the pliers. To finish 
change the top and bottom of the corset, I used a straight strip of fabric and sewn it all along. With that base done, it is time to do some hairstyling. Each big braid is separated into smaller strands to make a ton of braids. Since the fibers are not attached to anything, it was really tricky to detangle everything. I made about 30 medium braids and 30 smaller braids, about 1.5 meters long. It took me three full days, with most of the time spent slowly detangling all the loose hair everywhere. I do not recommend you do this if you have problems with your wrists. I did more brushing than on my own hair for the last 10 years. Then I started to attach the braids to the corset. First, the medium ones all along the boning channels. I did that very neatly with a matching color thread, stitching each turn of the braid. This is a clean and sturdy method, but it takes so long. After realizing I only sewn six braids in one afternoon, uh, I decided, nope, I will use hot glue. Many crafters, best friend. I glued the big braids, then slowly filled the gaps in between. They can get cut to fit in the different spaces, and the bottom is secured with elastics for now. I work slowly and be careful not to have any glue spill visible. I leave 16 braids loose on the bottom, so they will be woven into lattice later to make the skirt, and I cut the rest of the braids short. To finish the bottom, I folded each braid and glue the ends inside. I try to have hot glue catching all the hair and then scrap it when it's still hot to reduce the volume. It is very ugly, but it works. I could then carefully cut the excess glue with a box cutter. For the booby parts, I glued braids in a spiral, starting from the center. And I added one more braid along the top to hide the extremities and use it as a trim. Some more hand sewing was still necessary to secure the braids and attach some loose hair. To hide the glue mess inside, and also keeping this part from scratching the dress underneath, I covered the bottom with a cotton facing, sewing it all by hand. Even if it's not visible, I wanted this part a little more neat. I am splitting hair here. <laughs> the braids on the skirt are loosely woven and tied with elastics. A few hand stitches to keep that in place. And I also covered the ugly elastics with a piece of lilac organza that I had left over from the dress. For the sleeves, a little braid is going through the top of the big ones and it makes a sort of wrist tie. I used the same weaving method around a plastic tube. I sew every stitch between the hair and pushed the little thread ends into the braid to hide them. I put the corset on the dress and now with this I need to figure out how to attach it to the rest of the dress.
The braids are braided into a bigger braid uh, to make a shoulder strap. Then this gets sewn into the corset and that was it. This was a lot of work and I had blisters on all my fingers from the hot glue. Yay! To ease my pain, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more weird projects. Merci, vous êtes super. Mwah. And now the reveal. I am really happy with the results. It was a risky material to say the least, and it turned out a lot less tacky than I thought. I like that it makes an original and different version of the hairiest of Disney princesses. The braids add a centimeter of volume all around the corset, but it's still flattering. It is heavy though, and not breathable at all. This is a sweaty belly you're seeing here, and also some hurt feet. Still, it is whimsy and fashion, and I really love it. Give a like to this video if you enjoyed, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. Allez, bisous!